Hello, welcome to another episode of E-Training Guides. Today we're going to talk about uh, SDGM Migration Part 2 and some of the things that we could not migrate using the tool and how to get some of those objects over to SCCM. So last time I didn't migrate the collections and I didn't migrate the deployment stuff. So we're going to do that today. We're going to go over reporting, scripts, your uh, client settings, and um, how to get the hardware inventory stuff over as well. So that's what we're going to go over in part two. And so with that, let's get started. So I'm going to bring up my um, new SHM environment. All right. So um, now off screen, I went ahead and migrated all my operating system, my <clears throat> software metering, uh, my update uh, packages, my update templates, my software updates, my task sequences, my asset intelligent catalog, my applications, and I kind of went over a couple of those in the last video so you can kind of see how the tool works. And uh, again, I'll link some information down below, um, uh, you know, for the tool, how to use it, kind of stuff. So today, um, so the part two part of the migration is going to be more tricky because we're going to be migrating collections. So um, in the in when migrating the collections, one thing that gets migrated is the name of the collection and the properties of that collection. So if it's a SQL based collection, it will migrate the, the query that was used for that collection. Now, if it's a direct collection, it's going to also migrate the contents of that over to your new environment, which means there's a potential of getting duplicates in your new environment. So you'll have to clean that up. Um, and there's just no way around it. This is the nasty part of the um, migration, which is why I kind of saved it for last. Um, now, and that's the reason why I didn't do my deployment stuff because it needs the collection to be targeted. So, um, so we're gonna go over that today. So I'm gonna create a new migration job for the collections. There we go. So we're going to do collections. We're going to do object migration. And then we're going to do collections. And all the collections that I created um, is going to be there. Now it does um, create the folders. I checked last time I didn't refresh it. So it does actually create the folders. So I don't have to pre-create them. So, um, so we're going to go ahead and do the collection. That's fine because I don't have any collections over there. We're going to put the default, like I said, you know, I can always reapply the security scopes later. So I'm just going to create the uh, apply the default for now. I'm going to do the job now. Now, I don't have a lot of collections in my environment, so it won't take that long to run. But depending on how many collections you have in your environment, will determine how long it takes for this rule, to, uh, this migration to, job to run. And in an enterprise environment, you'll probably redo, re-migrate stuff over time. Like if you're still working in the current old environment, you're going to probably need to keep migrating some stuff over until you're ready to do the switch. But once you get the collections over and your deployment rules over and um, the reporting and all that kind of stuff and the... Uh, your imaging stuff once you get all your imaging dps over and do the, all your imaging has been moved over you technically can start looking to decom the old environment once you got the collections moved over as i can verify here i've got all my collections that i created um and the you know collections here all that stuff so um nothing been populated in there yet until we do the once the discovery runs it'll populate all that in there um so now I can go ahead and do my deployments uh, migration. Okay, that's completed. So now we're going to do my, um, we're going to do the ADR. And it'll be, uh, here we go, automatic deployment rules. I'm going to go ahead and get that over. Now I did do the um, update deployments. Now you may have some issues here. It depends on the um, updates that are in the old. They may not have been synchronized yet in the new. So if you see that, you'll just need to do a synchronization on those and then retry again if it's still available in SCM, which you know you have to determine which um, ones you want to migrate over. So you have that checklist of which ones you want to migrate over or um, 
where you just stop the uh, old job uh, deployment in the old and add it to new, to, you know, depending on which one's failed. Everything else, um, and then just reapply those deployments when you uh, go through the list here. But the jobs will be there. Um, all right, so now that's done. So I got the ADR. Anything that's failed, I can always go back later and uh, fix the issues. Uh, so we'll do that. Not on the video, but because it'll take too long. So now what I want to do is um, we'll look at my custom reports and see what I have in the old environment so we can see what we need to, how to get those over. Uh, so I'm over my original. So I do have a few. Um, this is the painstaking part about this part. Um, you'll have to, um, you won't be able to do this within the console. You'll have to go to the web site. All right, so when you're here, you want to go to your custom report. And then what you want to do is click down <clears throat> and go download. And you'll have to do this for every single one. Let me download that one again. I don't know where I downloaded to. <laughs> I'm gonna do all right, so we're gonna we're gonna dump them all here. Alright. And then we do this for every single one. Alright, once I've downloaded all of the um <clears throat> reports, uh, I saved it to a location. And uh, so these are all the reports. So now I'm gonna copy all of this to the new environment. All right, now that that's copied over, so then what I want to do is go over to the new environment and we're going to upload the reports. Now, before I do that, some of these reports may be based on hardware inventory, so I don't want to upload them just, well, I can still upload them, but I'm not going to run them because they may fail because of hardware inventory, so I'll just show you how to upload them. Again, you'll have to go to the um, website. All right, so now I'm on the current environment and I launched the reporting services. And so I created a folder called custom reports and now I'm going to upload. Um, and then I'm going to pick the, um, the files I copied over and I'm going to pick uh, this one. And you can do that for, you know, every single one of these. And there's, there's a script that can also allow you to do this. But again, I'm just uploading the reports. I'm not going to run them. Um, and uh, so once I have them all uploaded, so then what I have to do, once I upload it, for example, this one, I go to Manage. I have to go to Data Sources. And I have to change the data source for this report so it'll run. I'll usually pick the second one, save, and then I go back to custom reports. I'll do the same thing on this one, manage, data source, change it, because the data source is now different because it's a new environment. Click on the second one, save, and you'll have to do that for every single one of your um, reports. Now, there is a PowerShell script that kind of does this. Um, I'll find the article and you can... Um, I'll link it below for you to review to get your parameters because your environment's different than mine, but I'm just showing you how you can do it in SHM. Now, I don't have that many reports, so it's not going to take me that long to go through these. Um, now, I'm not going to run any reports because some of these may be related to the um, uh, client hardware inventory or um, any of the custom reports that I created with some specific hardware um, inventory. Now, I'm going to uh, go to hardware inventory. I'm going to go set classes. Now I'm going to go ahead and do export, and I'm going to call it um, hardware inventory. And I'm going to go over here. I'm just going to dump it here, this moth. All right, so it's been ex ex exported. Yeah, here it is. So it's here. And then you want to do is uh, I'm going to make a copy of this, and I'm going to paste it on the desktop. Now what I want to do is I want you to rename this to a text file and I'm going to open this up. Now what you want to look for is go down to the bottom 
All right, see where it says here? So any anything in here that says add extension start, so anything that's between these, and I don't have anything customized, so it's fine. Um, so whatever you have in between the uh, extensions, add extension start, and whatever's in between that and the add extensions end, you wanna copy that part and copy it to the new config manager on the other side, on the new environment, so you copy all the custom stuff. Um, and then that's basically it. So once you copy that, then you'll want to go over to your new one, and then you want to paste it inside between here, and then copy the file back over to the. Now I don't have any, so I'm not can't really show you that. Um, but that's what you have to do. And then on the new side, uh, well, let's go copy that file over. So now we're in the new. So now I want to import that MOF from the hardware inventory. So we're gonna go here. Go to Harvard Inventory and uh, do that. So once you have that done, then you can go ahead and <clears throat> check all your reports, make sure they're all running. If there's any issues, you'll have to go back and review why they're done. So um, <clears throat> that's basically the report. So this is why this is a nasty part of the migration is because these little tedious things you're gonna have to do. And it is time consuming, it does take time. So you wanna make sure you export the configuration MOF from the old to the new. Then you're gonna to wanna to export the hardware inventory from the old to the new, and you import it in the new. And then you download all of your reports from the old and you upload it in the new, like I just showed you. And then you wanna test everything, make sure everything run by running your reports after you've done all that. So I've done, Oh, I'll have to, there it is, custom reports. There's the two that I, so if I run this, if I have any issues, I'll have to check and see what the deal is. Um, and then you just wanna run all your reports, make sure they're running. Okay, this is good, so this report is fine. Um, so, and then I just gotta go through each one of those and check that. So we've done the, uh, now if you don't have that many, one of the things you can do is go into the old, and I created some, and you just copy and then you paste it here and then you paste the name of that and so what i did here that's what i did here if you only if you don't have that many and i just created one i just have a handful so i'll probably do it that way then run a script but if you have hundreds of them um there's a place where these are once you um once i did that you'll have to come back in here and prove all your um uh harky settings and then scripts require additional approver so uncheck that, and then when you go into your script, you can re-enable that later. And then I can go ahead and approve the script that I'm copying over so that, um, there we go. And now it's approved and I can run the script. Um, so that's one way to do that. Um, and then once you're done with that, then you'll wanna go back into the uh, hierarchy and click on re-enable approval if you want that enabled. Um, so that's the script. So then the last part is the client deployment and the client uh, agent stuff. So as you can see, I have, you can see a lot, I have a lot of, um, as you can see I have everything done. The only thing that's enabled is the forest and the heartbeat. Um, so at this point, I can probably disable this. We'll kind of keep the uh, heartbeat enabled for now, uh, but I don't need to do the forest anymore. I've already disabled all of the, uh, the other items so groups are not getting discovered and stuff like that so now i can um you know i've turned on the discovery on the new environment so all my devices will now be discovered and i can start pushing out the clients to the uh now the only thing you don't want to do is any SCGM servers or SCGM uh site servers that are over in the old environment you do not want to install the client on those you want to, you know, because they're going to be decommed and decommissioned, so you don't want to push. So I don't want to install anything, a client on anything that relates to the old environment. So you want to not do that. Just get the clients out on to your devices that you want reporting to the new environment. And that's basically it. So the part two is a little bit more involved. It's the worst part of the migration tool, but it's still a lot less work than you would have if you had to rebuild everything from scratch. So now it's just a part of cleanup, um, get my clients out there at the rest of my reports and um, get you know everything squared away so that I can eventually uninstall on the old. Um, 
So that's basically it for part two. And uh, let me know if you have any questions below in terms of um, some of these migration stuff. I may do like a part three, like question and answer, or like maybe showcase um, some things, or I may just move on and just get the 2111 upgrade done because um, it's already out and it's been out for a while. And so I'm a little bit behind on that. So um, anyways, so that's basically it. So there's still more work that I have to do, but I have a small environment, so it shouldn't take too long, but still will be some time. So again, you're just going to want to take your time with this. So anyway, so um, with that, that concludes the SDCM migration part two. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll put some links, um, some articles in, below in the comment section for you to review for any uh, more detailed information about um, the things that we have to manually sort of migrate over, like the custom reports, the scripts, secu security scopes we did in the last video, client settings, and how you're gonna have to compare that and re-enable, click whatever you want for the hardware inventory. Any of the um, other roles that you have installed, like the CMG or some other stuff, you'll have to de-install that and reinstall on the new. Um, so and again, just let me know if you have any um, questions. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Consider subscribing and turn on that notification so you're notified when I upload another video. Again, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.